The ceremony just now was for a person who passed away. And the chant was a reflection on impermanence and constancy. This body we have is something fabricated, something put together. And the nature of all things put together is that they're going to fall apart. This has happened to other people. Beings have been dying, they are dying, they will die. And it's going to happen to us too. We have no doubt about this. That's what the chant said. And it's a good chant for re reflection on heedfulness. When this body goes, it's very rare that it goes smoothly and pleasantly. Usually it's the case that just so much pain in the body you can't stay anymore and then you've got to go. That's the closing act on this life of this body. Fortunately, it's not the closing act on the life of the mind. But the question is, when the mind is in a situation like that, what is it going to do? What choices is it going to make? If you find the mind out of control when you're sitting around in relative comfort, what's it going to do when you're, it's surrounded by discomfort? You reflect on this and you realize the mind needs to be trained. So good things come up and the mind isn't shaken. Bad things come up and the mind isn't shaken. It can keep its mindfulness intact. In other words, its fund of knowledge as to what's skillful and what's not. Its alertness to what's going on. And its ardency to want to do this well. You, live, you want to live well, and when you die, you want to die well. In other words, die in a way that takes you to a better place. Even though the world will seem to be closing in on you, the body will be closing in on you. The mind can still escape and go to something better, but that requires training. And the ordinary difficulties of daily life <clears throat> are nothing compared with the difficulties you're going to face then. So learn to bear daily difficulties with grace, with equanimity, with endurance. And endurance doesn't mean gritting your teeth with them. It means looking for the good opportunities. When you look for the opportunities, you'll find they're there. Opportunities to do good, to get around the obstacles. But it requires that you be alert and mindful and have a sense of solidity inside. So that's what we work on as we meditate. This is why it's called practice. Someday you're going to have to perform. So in the meantime, practice as much as you can.